Alright, welcome to episode 10 of Minecraft and Unity, and uh, I may be a little bit, um, my rhythm may be quite different because I actually went and did about four more hours of, uh, of work, and I brought this up to episode 18, and then I had to roll it back to episode 6. So, uh, I think I'm back where we were, and what we're going to do today is we're going to make a block editor. Uh, and that's because I'm really getting tired of having to remember whether block 2 is water or or sand or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and create uh, ourselves a nice little editor for blocks. So the first step to do that is to create some scripts. And I know that you uh, aren't very surprised by that. So C sharp script and we'll call this block type. And then we need another C sharp script which we'll call block handler or block list is probably a better block list. And we'll go ahead and open both of those up. Alright, so here in block type, this is going to be the brick. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it just a data class. It's not going to have, uh, it's going to be only one step up from a struct. Uh, in fact, we could even make it a struct if we wanted, but we're going to have some use for it later uh, when it comes to embedding functionality in these blocks. Uh, so for now, that's going to be how it's going to work. And we're going to actually make it... This is a trick uh, that you may have to... A serializable... Which you will have to uh, figure out on your own if... Uh, th this stymied me for a while. Um, Unity doesn't actually check whether things are serializable. It just tries to serialize them. And if it fails, it totally drops the ball and everything gets screwed up. So be careful how you build your serializable classes, especially if you're using them in an editor. So here we have a very basic system of creating blocks. No problem. Uh, we can actually add a couple more things that we might need later, just for fun. Alright, so here's the block list, and this will actually go on an object, a game object. Uh, that game object won't be, <laughs> it won't be in any scenes, at least not anytime soon, but it will be used by other game objects. And just for safety's sake, uh, no, we don't actually need that one. All right. All right, that should be all. That's all we should have to do. So we're going to go back into Unity. And I taught you about custom editors last time. This time I'm going to teach you about using the default editor to save yourself some development time. So we're going to go ahead and create ourselves an empty object, which we will call blocks. We're going to add the block list to it. And then we're going to save it into fabs. And then we're going to delete it. <laughs> so this actually contains all of the blocks that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and make it a list of size 4. And we will just go ahead and do all of the work here. Dirt. Later on, we'll actually be uh, using a custom editor which will display the textures that you've actually, you know, it'll actually know what you've, what you've picked and show you a picture of it. But for now, that would be um, overkill, so let's not do that. And I'm actually uh, going to look in our land brush. Oh, no, it's in chunk. And see what the heck we've actually got them defined as so that I don't get it wrong and have to start over. Here we go. So right now we've got water defined as uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Right here. And uh, I guess we can say that we should check those, even though they have no effect right now. And then we've got uh, sand as 0.25 and 0.75. And then we've got ice as 0.75 and 0.25. 
And since we're editing it in uh, fabrication mode, we don't have to save it. It's already saved. But what we will have to do is we'll have to cr create a way to reference it. So over here in chunk, we're going to go ahead and def or sorry, over here in terrain, we're going to go ahead and define public block list blocks like so. And then we're going to go ahead over here, select it, and drag it over onto there. There we go. So we're going to have to go ahead and create some functions here. So here is an issue. All of these are going to be off by one because our list, our actual blocks start at zero with zero being empty. Uh, and this list here starts at zero with zero being dirt. So we have a couple of options. One is that we can make a block called none and put it at the beginning of this list. Um, and another option is that we can just offset everything. Uh, so when we are doing these bytes, we actually change it like this. Okay, so now we're going to go back over into uh, chunk, and we're going to go ahead and set it up so that we use these rather than these random numbers. So let's go ahead and uh, byte dirt equals terrain dot active terrain dot get. You know, uh, I just realized that the block list actually has quite a, a way to go in order to be accessed. So why don't we go ahead and public static block list blocks. We will make this one um, static instead of just like there we go. And I believe that we can still assign that. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh no, we can't assign a static. Pain in the butt. Fine, we'll do both. There we go. Voila. So down down here we say dirt, 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 and we replace these with. Uh, we should actually go ahead and just grab the bytes we're gonna need. We'll, later on we'll do a little bit better at this, um, but that's okay. Alright, shall we see whether or not that worked? It didn't. Oh, of course it didn't. Because we still haven't changed the land the chunk's actual instantiation. Uh, so down here, when we do this UV stuff, we don't actually do this anymore. Get rid of this. And instead we say UV base equals terrain dot block list dot get block 
um, lock dot texture offset like so. And we don't seem to have it doesn't seem to be working in the way it should. Let me look into that real quick. All the reason it doesn't work is because, brilliantly, I forgot to put any logic in this function. That's better. All right, so that's how you create blocks on your own. Um, I think that what we're going to do in the next episode, first off, I'm going to polish the biomes. I think I made them too small. But I'm also going to go ahead and make that block editing script much, much bigger. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new block texture, a new block tile map uh, to use to create uh, good tiles. Um, the sand actually looks pretty decent, but the rest of these tiles look awful. So. Uh, next episode, I'll be coming in with a new tile map. I'll make sure that you get your hands on it, um, and we can use that to create a variety of blocks, including things like multiple kinds of dirt. Where we go from there, who knows? The future awaits.